Well, that was a lot of goals. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Marielle Sanchez and I am a fourth grade teacher in South Florida. So today's video has been long coming. I'm a little behind in making this video because the beginning of this new year has been pretty hectic, but I'm finally getting it up and talking about what my goals for 2019 are. And I also wanna take some time to reflect on how my 2018 year went. So let's start off with the fact that my word for last year was breakthrough. And I wanted to have breakthroughs in different areas of my life, one of them being my health journey, and I did have a breakthrough. I had joined Weight Watchers back in 2017, in October, at the end of October 2017, and by May of 2018, I had met one of my goals in that weight loss journey, and then summer happened. But we're not gonna talk about that because I wanna focus on the positives. So I did have a breakthrough in that area. I also had a breakthrough because this channel grew from less than 100 subscribers to 300 by May. And then in the summer, around August, I believe, I got to over 1,000 subscribers. Right now, we are sitting at close to 2,000. And I am not here for the numbers, but it's really nice to see my community of supporters and people growing together with me. So thank you, thank you so much for supporting me. And like I wanna say again, I am not here for the numbers. I am here for the connections that I make, even if it's just with one person. I am here to share ideas and inspire other educators out there, even if it's just one person. And guess what? Every week I get comments from at least one person who is appreciative or who tells me how they used one of my ideas in their classroom and how their students enjoyed it or how they feel supported because they see themselves reflected with my day-to-day -day teaching life and they're like, me too, I am not alone, I'm going through this. And guess what, I do the same thing. And some of you share ideas as well that I'm like, ooh, that is a great idea, let me try it or let me try to tweak something that I'm currently doing to fit that idea. So thank you so much, we're here, we're still here, we're still sharing our experiences day to day. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So other than my one word being breakthrough last year, I mean having breakthroughs in both my health journey and my journey as a teacher tuber and as an educator altogether because I was able to make more connections with other teacher YouTubers out there and also meet some amazing people who continue to inspire me to this day. So I wanted to take a moment before I talk about my 2019 goals and a little bit more about what my word is this year, which I've already mentioned in my social media. And I think I mentioned it here as well in my channel, but I wanted to take a moment to think about all the things that I'm grateful for, for 2018. Again, we're trying to keep it on the positive side focusing on what went well and moving on from there so I interestingly enough when I sat down to type up all the different things that I was grateful for for 2018 it ended up being 15 different things so that is awesome I love it and I also love odd numbers I don't know if this is a fun fact for you to know I love odd numbers I was born on an odd day odd month, odd year. My birthday is on May 27. So I love, love, love odd numbers. And I actually love that this is a list of 15 different things. So these are the 15 things that I am most grateful for that 2018 brought. So number one, losing my first 25 pounds on Weight Watchers. Way to go, Marielle. You've done it before. You did it again and you can do it again and keep going. Number two is competing in three 5k races last year. You heard it, I competed in three 5K races and I want to maybe increase that number by one this year. That's not actually a real goal that I have written down, but that's a mental goal for myself. Number three was reaching, like I mentioned, a thousand subscribers here on YouTube. Number four was attending the TPT conference last summer in Nashville, which by the way, I am going again this year to the TPT conference. I'm already booked, flight, hotel, everything is done. I will be in Austin in 2019 for the TPT conference. If you're gonna be there, please make sure you seek me out and say hello. I would love to say hello to you too and give you a nice big hug. Number five was traveling to Nashville, Tennessee, of course, and visiting Nashville for the first time. I was there for five days. I loved 
every minute of it and you can find out how my experience went because I have a playlist, which I'll probably put a card up here and I'll link down below if I remember. Number six was connecting with Genius Plaza, which is an ed tech company. And they actually took myself, Michelle Ferre from Pocketful of Primary, Bridget from The Letter Classroom and Fernanda from That One Happy Classroom. All four of us went together on a weekend with Genius Plaza here in Miami Beach. And they have since been a great contact for me and they have supported me in my classroom. And because of them, I get to present at ISTE this summer in Philadelphia at the end of June. So that's something else that's coming in this year, which is already something to look forward to. So I'll be presenting at ISTE, which is the International Society for Technology Education. So that's amazing. Number seven is spending that weekend with the vloggers that Genius Plaza brought us all together. And again, that's a video that you can check. I'll try to remember to put a card up here. If not, I'll remember to link it down below if you wanna watch it. Number eight was going to the Teacher Heart Out Conference in October, which was here in Miami. Amazing, had an amazing experience. It was a great two days. I got all fired up and all fueled up to bring all these amazing engaging activities in my classroom to motivate my students and increase that learning achievement. So that was amazing. And I keep saying amazing, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, I don't know if I'll even have a counter for that. In the past, I've gotten counters for the word excited, but now it's amazing. All right, I ramble, keep going. All right, number nine was the South Florida teacher meetup. So last year, after I came back from Nashville, I started doing a little meetup of South Florida teachers and we started meeting, I believe it was in July or August was our first meetup. And then our next one was in October. And then we just had one in January of this year. We're currently planning another one, but it's great to be able to get together with fellow teachers who also teach in the same area as you and share ideas and get together. So that has been amazing. Number 10 was having an awesome and active summer. I made it a point to make sure that my summer in 2018 was a lot better than my summer in 2017. And one way that I did that was that I tried to film videos almost every day during my summer vacation, which I also have a playlist for, which I'll remember to probably link down below or put a card up here or something, but it's there, it's in my playlist, all my summer videos from last year in 2018. Number 11 was getting back to my academic writing. If you don't already know, I am a PhD student. I am getting my doctorate in curriculum and instruction, specializing in reading literacy and cognition. And I got back to writing academically so that I can continue my dissertation journey. I am done with all my classes. I passed all my comprehensive exams. Now it's just going in and sitting down on a chair to write my prospectus, my proposal, and then defend it, get IRB approval, collect data, write my findings, and defend that so that I can finally graduate so we're still on track with that but last year I did start to get back to academic writing and I need to continue doing that this year as well all right number 12 was attending the at fun conference which I usually go but I went to again last year in December I did a vlog that was vlogmas day one and I'll make sure that I'll link it down below as well Number 13 was recording over 200 videos on YouTube. Right now, I believe by the time this goes up, this is either video 235 or 236. So we'll see, but yeah, I've already recorded over 200 videos on YouTube and I've only been on YouTube for a year and a half. So that is impressive. And I think that to Vlogmas and vlogging almost every day last summer, but yeah, there's a lot of content on this channel. Number 14, my 27 days of kindness in May. So last year, during the month of May, which is my birthday month, I decided to do 27 days of kindness from May 1st leading up to my birthday on May 27. I plan to do that again this year. It was great and I love spreading kindness and positivity everywhere I go. It was either in school, in my neighborhood, at home, with my friends, everywhere that I went, I tried to spread a little kindness. And I think that's important. We need to spread kindness everywhere we go. And number 15 was getting my ISTE proposal approved and I got that email at the beginning of December and that was exciting. So now that brings me to remembering all those different goals that I set for myself in 2018. Could you imagine I gave myself nine different goals? Like what was I thinking? Like that's too many goals. And I separated them into three different categories. I have in the classroom, in my profession, and in my personal life. So I had organized my classroom, which it's still a work in progress. <laughs> Improve on consistency, which is still a work in progress. Continue to engage students. Yes, I did that. Continue to do it as well. In my profession, create work content for TPT and YouTube. YouTube definitely, TPT a little bit, but I've gotten better. So I have a lot more things that I need to put on there. Two, go to TPT Nashville, which I did and it was amazing. Three, write my dissertation. 
still in progress. And for my personal life, get more organized, still in progress. Two, continue on my health and fitness journey, still going. And three, build more memories with my son, still going. All right, so now that brings me to my goals for this year in 2019. So from nine goals in 2018, I brought it down to five. I know that still feels like a lot, but is a good five, is a good general amount of five. And I hope that these can motivate me to just keep going and just continue to improve upon myself. I just wanna be in competition with who I was before, no one else. I just wanna compete with myself and keep building upon myself and growing professionally, mentally, physically, in all aspects of who I am. So number one goes with my one word for 2019, which is believe. I wanna believe that I can achieve my goals. I wanna believe that I can do it. I wanna believe more in myself. I wanna believe that I can accomplish anything that I set myself to accomplish. So that is my word and I put it all around me and I try to remind myself every day of that word and it has been showing up a lot these past couple of weeks since the year started. So I know that that is the word for me for this year. So believe that's my first goal for 2019. My second goal is to continue to pursue my health and fitness journey, but with intent. So even though my one word for 2019 is believe, it is being fueled by the word intent. I need to do it with intent. I need to be more intentional in everything that I do. And that is one goal that I have for myself for this year. Goal number three is to make progress on my dissertation, which I want to try to finish within a year so that I can graduate hopefully next year in 2020. That is my one big goal. Number four is to connect, grow, and learn with others. And I think this YouTube channel helps me do that, as well as my Instagram. And also when I go to conferences and meet you all or meet other teacher friends that I look up to and I am inspired by. So I wanna continue to grow. I wanna continue to connect and learn with others. And number five, is to feed my soul. I wanna be more intentional with self-care. I wanna be more intentional with things that I know are good for the heart, good for the soul, good for the spirit. I wanna spend more time out in nature. Being outdoors just fills me with a lot of joy. Also, going back to my art, my journaling, my writing, I really want to do things to just feed my soul. And that's why that is my fifth goal for 2019. And I have so many things to look forward to this year, including right now coming up, I will be going to get your teach on in February, which is going to be in Orlando. I'm already registered and I can't wait to meet some of you there or to meet new teachers there and just get fired up again for learning and getting my students engaged. I also have the self care conference that's coming down here to Florida in South Florida. That's going to be in March. And I also am looking forward to going to ISTE, like I mentioned in Philadelphia at the end of June, going to Austin, Texas for the TPT conference, like I mentioned in the middle of July, and just, you know, continuing to grow and share and see what else I get to feature here on my channel. I have a student teacher this semester and we're learning from each other. And so far it's been an amazing experience. This is her second week in my classroom and we are just growing together and I'm really looking forward to that. And who knows where the future is going to take me. I am just riding the wave right now. I am trying to make sure that I stay present and I am very aware of where I am now and very appreciative and just look at all the things that I am currently grateful for and just keep moving from there. So that is my video on my reflections from 2018 and what my goals are for 2019 and what I look forward to this year. So there's so many other things that I know are going to be happening this year that are gonna be exciting and fun. And if you stick around, you can come along with me. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that subscription button right now and the bell for notifications so you get notified when I post a new video. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you thought, any questions you may have, or what are your goals for 2019? What are you looking forward to the most this year? I hope that you are also taking good care of yourself and staying positive and propelling yourself to the best version of you you could ever be. I hope you have a beautiful, magical day, and don't forget to smile. Hello dreamers, wishers, and magical thinkers. Thank you so much for making it to the very end of this video and for showing your support. If you'd like to subscribe, you can do so by clicking on my picture down here. You can also check out my latest videos here and here. Don't forget to believe in the magic that's inside you because you are capable of great things. See you next time.